Okay, in my seat. Okay, so first things first. Why do you guys choose us in the first place again? <laughs> so why you're the same? Why are the elevation at its highest peak. The mind shop like it's lion's teeth. Mad dreams of what I want to be, but best believe you always see it high in me. Remember when they wouldn't hire me and I didn't love me, probably would desire me. Yeah, the date I'm faded, you expiring. I see a shot, I take it and I'm fired. My head in the clouds, would you like to get a preview? This ain't what you want, if you do, I don't believe you. Trying to make the band, making bands for my pleasure. Cross out on the gram, I demand nothing less. What you here for? I just wanna make you feel more. Promise you won't get way more than what you came for. I already know the truth, don't need to hear more. Was never the girl you had the feels for. I just wanna be the one you need around more. Soon enough, you'll be the one I ain't got time for. Taking less L's make my haters frown more. Taking less L's, they wonder why I'm getting confused. They ain't check the reviews before they try to. They ain't got the rep for the piece, so they feel one minute, switch. The other one go one minute. Switch. The other one go one minute. Got it? We are switching persons first. Maybe we'll do three minutes in a row. So make sure you give everything you can on these ones. Okay, because you might not have time to do the fun one. Ready? Everyone got it? Questions? Let's go. Start it. Let's go, Sean, one side, other side, your head up. Think about moving your feet faster. There you go, just quick, quick. quick Life quick. itself will bring to you the right people around you, the, the opportunities will come as long as you keep searching for them. You find opportunities and you have, you, you find like figure out a way to get where you want, where you want to get, wherever is it. And that's what I believe, you know, that's, that's, what I live by, like I thought about stopping at a point and I, I was like, okay, but what else I would do? You know, I never made a plan B. So there we go. Like I had, a, I had not a plan B. All I could do is stick to the plan A. When I accepted it, I was just going to do it either way, no matter how many times, how much time it would take or how long it would take. Everything worked out well. You know, I, I made some moves. I, I, I tried to get some changes in my life and things happened. Draw any line, you just, you just, you just go hard. Then she beat me up, we get mad at each other, but later on, we're good. We keep it pretty honest. He could, I mean, I know he could train harder with me. He could train harder with me, but he's I nice. Wish I, could. I tell her that sometimes. That's what she believes. You know that I'm letting her do stuff to me. But the truth is, I don't let nobody do anything to me. People just beat me up. No. He's nice to me. <laughs> guys, let's line up! Thank you guys. Good stuff today. Thank you, Luke. Good thank job you. Today. Good thank job today. You. We're all doing it for American National. I think that the teaching helped a lot. Yeah. I think the teaching gave us a different confidence and it gave us something different to fight for. Like I think some people they have kids and they and they find like more meaning in having the kid because the kid gives them a bigger fight. But I feel like I don't want to come back to my kids and not have won. You know, I I, I won once and then I I lost another time and and it didn't feel good to come back and 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 I'm the whole weekend thinking like, man, I'm gonna have to go back and they're gonna ask me how I did. I'm gonna say that I lost. It's not gonna feel good. You know, I want to lead by example. I want that. I maybe he doesn't realize it but I know that that's something that's giving us more confidence yeah. it's just having that like wanting to represent for our gym 
um, wanting to represent for, you know, we always want to represent for our families, for, but now we're building our own legacy. Now we have our own names. Now we have our own names on the gym. And um, we have students, and we want them to, to look at us with and, and uh, feel proud, you know? We want, want them to look at us. And, and I think that, that maybe that's, I, I really believe that that's what's given me a little bit more confidence. You know, it's like, okay, like if I'm telling them these things, I better go and do it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner is a result of a submission, Hinato Kanudo! It's not that crazy. People that tell you that's that hard, is that crazy, is because they're scared that everyone's gonna figure out that it's that easy, that you just gotta believe and do it. You know, like here, just stick around long enough, Put yourself out there, believe in yourself, you know, like be always looking forward to learn, uh, learn how to be a better coach, learn how to be a better uh, predictioner, learn how to deal with people, learn how to like, just keep on learning. And if you ever thought about teaching or living from Jiu Jitsu or competing, do it, give it a try. I'm sure you'll be more happy. At the end of the day, if you fail, every chance you could have tried to do it and you failed, I'm sure you'll be way more happy by trying it and by living that way and putting the effort than if you never try it and, and leave it there like, oh, if I did, oh, if I never had stopped, oh, if I, sh should I, oh, I wish I could. No, do it. Right now you're in Long Beach, California, in the Checkmat headquarters, training for Worlds, Worlds Camp 2019. And uh, a bunch of kids on the mats today, just trying to survive. But yeah, the, the level here is crazy. Everyone's always competing in the biggest tournaments of the year so they are well rounded ready most of them live around here so they're always training together so right now teaching and doing and uh and not having as many training partners on brown black belt level it's good to come here and, and get the you know get get the the, the heart the heart beating fast you know the, the blood pumping into the to the arms and legs getting tired breathing hard and the getting out smarter out class all the time so it gets me working, you know, what time is it? It's a small city in São Paulo State and me and Renato, we made sure to put that, that city on the map of Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> Yeah. It was good, you know, like uh, when I start training, I remember his dad was blue belt at the time, was beat me up all the time, so it was a good day. He was 10 years old. Huh? He was 10 years yeah. old. 10, 12 years old. And like, so I know his, like him, his family since I was like a little kid. We never thought Jiu Jitsu would bring us so far and it did it, so it's, we are like, so thankful about that, you know what I mean? For me, I think me and Tata have a similar game. We both like to take down, we both like to pass the pressure. She, well, she likes to explode a lot. So I think like when we have that here, it helps us for the tournament because she always goes the same way she competes, she trains the same way. So it's like the most realistic that we can get for the tournament, I feel, with her. For sure, like we help each other. Like yeah. we know you can push each other and like in the tournament you're gonna have like the same level like you will have in the training. So it's very important. You keep it this rhythm before the tournament and we help each other evolve and you train hard, yeah. right? I don't like to train at her, but I have to. Any questions? Let's see you guys tomorrow.
If there's one thing that I can, and and I know I've known this for a long time, and I've struggled with this also, is that I'm always the one that is almost there. Like I almost get there. I almost do it. I get. I've lost like so many finals of the worlds. I've lost like the Belfort Invicta, but. And I, and I always be like, maybe I'm never going to be the champion, but I'm never going to stop trying. And I, and I think it's a cliche thing to say, but it's like, uh, just don't stop. Like, uh, don't stop trying. Don't stop going. Uh, even when things get hard, don't stop. Like, it's going to get better. Like, today we are living a life that I never imagined I would. I mean, I, I always wanted, but I didn't imagine it would ever come. And it's just because, like, we keep knocking on that door. We keep knocking on that door. We keep trying. And um, someone, someone, or a couple of people recently said, like, uh, to Hinata and I like man you guys did it so fast and I was like together we did it so fast but separately we were doing it for so long and there has been a lot of failing and there's been a lot of trying and maybe he and I have only been together for three years and it seems like our life together has developed quickly but I'm I'm gonna be 29 years old Hinato is younger than I am he'll be 23 but he's been doing it since he was eight um, I've been doing it for half my life you know he's been doing it for more than half of his life so it's been a lot of trying, a lot of failing, but we just keep going, you know? So I think that that's the most important thing. And I, and I always say like, maybe I will never be a Black Belt World Champion, maybe I will never be a UFC Champion, but the legacy that I leave behind and the thing that I can show people, whether it's from my city or people from Jiu Jitsu or people from MMA, it's like to just keep going. Like if you keep knocking on that door, if you keep trying, if you keep going, it's gonna happen. Who would you just do fight like that? I'm high Who would you just do strike like Rolling that? Rolling out the system like an addict. You were the man back then, now your wave washed up. Me and Maddie G sipping out the rest, fill it up. Got quick cash, I'ma drive that shit so fast it give you whiplash. A lot of water, it look like we can splish splash. We did it all with our nose. Hold a baby on the way go. So I'm like, call no friends up. We could all just go out to the city for the night, what it costs right now. I hope you know you're hanging with a boss right now. See the fame, I want all of it See designer in the stars, I want all of it Not a little of your love, I want all of it I want all of it I want all of it I want all of it, yeah I'm at the top of my life right now and that's fine. How's the plan A work? How's the plan A work? Look at, look at this Yeah Look at this Look at Raquel. No, the gym. And Raquel. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> the plan A is in progress. I, it, it's we're still writing our story, still, still going. But I mean, this is not ours, but it's ours. You know, we're here every day working to build it, it and, is. and 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 even to be partnered with someone like Venom, like trusting us to, to to build this with them. You know, it's a big deal to us and it's not something we take lightly. And we, we got to do a lot of things we want to do. Like there were days where I dreamt of being a Black World Champion. And sure, like they say the no gi ones don't matter as much as the gi ones. But I could stop today and I'm still a Black World Champion. You know, like I, I, I could be like, babe, I'm done. And I still did so much with my life. Yeah, and I, I would be, I could retire today and be happy with yeah. all the things I've accomplished. So. You're doing this. <laughs> I've won Nogi Awards. I've won Pants Nogi. Uh, I haven't won yet awards and pants in the Gi, but I placed second and third at both. You know, at Black Belt in the last uh, three years that I've been in Black Belt. Won Brown Belt Awards, won Nogi Brown Belt Awards, won two Kasai uh, belts. You know, did, did a bunch of cool stuff, but now I'm finally on that sweet spot when I feel, when I feel good. You know, I'm training, I'm feeling good, and I. You know, things are flowing, and I feel like I can get back to compete again, and I'm not done. The best is yet to come. So this, that, that year in 2019, I, we focused a lot on Hinato's preparation for ADCC, and I told him after ADCC is done, I want to focus on me. My whole mindset changed. I was like, I'm not a loser. Like, I am not losing my juice is so good. I am one of the best black belts in the world. I've proven that already. So what is wrong with me? You know, it's like, so I started focusing a lot more on myself. And when I went to the tournament, I literally just decided, I'm like, nobody's going to beat me. I'm going to go there and I'm going to win. 
Uh, so when it happened, I was just so relieved because I was like, I literally needed to finish the year winning something just for myself. Um, and to just kind of just remind myself who I am. And yeah, so when I did that, I was like, man, the power of your mind is so strong when you just literally make the decision to do it, you can do it. So that I, I felt like coming in 2020, I had my mind was I, I had a re very good mindset. I only got to compete at Kasai before the whole pandemic started. Um, so I, I was a little bit sad about that. Like I was sad that like I had made so much progress in those last few months and then I, I felt so ready. I was like so sure I would win the Pan Ams and so sure I'd win the Worlds and now we'll never know. <laughs> It gave us a family because we're not yeah. from Las Vegas and we don't have much family here. So um, the gym is our family. It's our people. It's our group. Of, so, so that, you know, it sounds almost like a cult, but it's like it's a fa it's we don't have a family here. We don't have our mom, dad, cousins, aunties, uncles. So, you know, that, that it, it's I, I treat I yeah. want to be the best for them like I would want to be the best for my family. Okay, babe, your third. Hey! Sticking to everything I believe, which is so far as fighting, going as hard as you can, fighting, having fun, and like pretty much like exposing the art, you know, like showing, like make, making it artistic. For me, it's, it's an art, you know, I'm a martial artist and I'm responsible for whatever I represent, which is Jiu Jitsu. For me, it's the greatest thing you can do, it's the coolest sport in the world. You can argue with me all day. It's for everyone, any religion, any ethnicity. Bro, I, I'm defending Jiu-Jitsu for the rest of my life. Being a champion, not being a champion. I'm gonna be old, I'm gonna be on those mats, I'm gonna be teaching kids, I'm gonna be teaching my kids, and hopefully my grandkids, you know what I'm saying? If I leave that long, but, you know. I think what's inspiring about Hinato and I is that we, are, we don't have um, that perfect story where we won everything and we were the blue, purple, brown, black belt world champions. Um, we lost a lot. We are second and third place a lot. And I think that our story is to inspire other people to keep trying. You know, that if you keep knocking on that door, it has to open, so. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner as a result of a rear naked choke submission, Just being a dreamer, man. Dream and sell dreams, you know? I want to be a dream seller all the way through. I want people to buy dreams and believe in themselves. That's, that's what athletes are, are for, are there for. We show that things are possible with hard work and dedication. You can do anything you want to do. And we hear that all the time. And it's so hard to believe that. But it's like, I, I shouldn't be able to be, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't have been able to be a world champion once, let alone five times. And I shouldn't have been able to move uh, away from home and be the head instructor at this beautiful gym with one of the largest combat sports companies in the world, if not the, the largest combat sports company in the world. But I, but I did. Like I, I, I was. I had parents who we were. We, I don't want to say we were poor, but we were. We didn't have a lot, and we were always fed. We were always clothed, but it was like we never had extra. Uh, my parents never had really the means to help us financially. Um, we are not supposed to be here, but we figured it out. And I just, if, if that's the, like one of the messages that I can share, if there's like any point that anyone can take from like this documentary is that like dream and go after it and don't, don't stop until you do it. Like I'm 30 years old and I'm still far from where I want to be, but I'm not going to stop until I make it happen. There's no timeline for me. There's no deadline for me. Like, someday it's going to happen. Yeah. I hopped in a car, made my own lane. All my life to the game. Used to joke on my name. Now she can't contain herself. Screaming out my name. Yeah. 
Young drum, I'm not calm, I need everything I'm on a beach, I'm on a freak People they talk, people they sneak I'm in the booth, I made the beat I gotta make sure the shit isn't weak I bought the Louis V, it was a treat I got the people around me I need Knew from the jump who would stay, who would leave